this code quotes uh, around this code, meaning all those regulations building related. There are opportunities for other appeals to come to this board, but we would consult with our city attorney to ensure if this was the appropriate board to uh, come to. Generally speaking, the board hears matters to be appealed under building regulations, which goes the whole breadth of the building code regulations, including the plumbing, mechanical, electrical, residential, building code, historic code, and the international property maintenance code, which is adopted under that umbrella of the building codes. That, that maintenance code isn't something California has specifically. We have almost everything else. We adopt the international property maintenance code as a tool. And we, this last year, robustly, uh, if that's a decent term, amended word. that for local use because that code is literally about that thick. Not that that's a bad thing, but it's, it's a very straightforward code and a good tool. We amended it through Lou's experience in many years of code enforcement um, to be more of a, uh, uh, an effective tool locally. So that's a nuance that is there. And if we ever want to have time to go over some of these adoptions that we do every three years on the codes, I'd be happy to sit down with individual members or even do it in, if we chose to do a study session. There ever some desire for something like that to go over adoptions. In other words, we have numerous <laughs> local amendments that typically the fire department and the building department work together and amend the codes to meet our local needs. And we have a pretty vast list of amendments that are above and beyond base code. So a lot of nuances to what we can do, whether we hear about them or not in this forum. Uh, yet to be seen, as it's been told by past members and chairs, the City of Santa Rosa Building Division, including which includes the Code Enforcement Division, does works really hard to mitigate issues before we have to get get here. So, not that we want to put you out of work, so to speak, but um, we hope to um, only bring matters that really are of a professional board like this to to hear. So, um, and I failed to mention. Uh, since our last meeting, there's a new position that's been created with the city of Santa Rosa. That's the assistant chief building official. That's Luke Kirk. If you did, didn't get to meet him yet, he's been on board with us now for a year and was it August? A year and a half. Yeah. yeah. Believe it or not. So that's been a great help to me, which cut my hours down, as Craig was pointing out. Uh, <laughs> uh, any questions for me or my assistant building official? How, how is the California Fire Code? Interpreted. Is it the fire department? Ultimately, Usually? ultimately, they have the authority as the fire marshal, right? And that that code is developed and adopted under an umbrella code, which is California Title 19, which is California State Fire Marshal regulations. You're probably okay. uh, familiar with those. So that is the California Fire Code, which also comes from the International Fire Code. But like all of our codes, California really makes it their own. Uh, but the fire marshal is the ultimate um, authority over the fire codes. So okay. That whole stack of California codes, fire code is fire marshal. Other elements of the building code, especially the California building code, uh, list those um, types of occupancies that are regulated by the fire marshal. So they have a lot of input into other parts of the code as well. Mm -hmm. Residential code, there are sections right. of the fire marshal, especially battery storage and solar applications. California Building Code, uh, which mimics the California Fire Code now for Chapter 9, which is fire protection systems. So they, they leak into other codes as well with authority. And then those occupancies like multifamily, uh, L occupancies, labs, um, camps, um, educational. So there's certainly a lot of crossover. That's why the fire marshal and the building official need to at least talk. Which mm -hmm. If there's an appeal that includes fire and building, do they come and do a meeting like this? If you yeah, yeah, okay. it, it, it would be, and that would be the appropriate appropriate path, which we've we've um, outlined before for folks that may want to appeal. Say it is a very specific fire code mm -hmm. item, they would file an appeal. Uh, like their first path would be to go to the chief. It could be resolved. It would be heard by this board because the, that code does live under that umbrella of Chapter right. 18 of the right. community code. Okay. And, uh, fire you. services are typically pretty pretty comfortable with utilizing 
the Board of Building Regulation Appeals for their appeals as well. Great. Thank you. Anything else? Well, easy crowd. <laughs> um, Just today. Chair Cooper, I have to apologize. I did not hit the recording button on time. So I just wanted to recap that we started the meeting at 4 10 p.m. and that we approved the meeting minutes and we took roll call and all members are present. Okay. Thank you. So I, you mentioned that we were going to have also have election of chair and vice chair. Yes. And I can see that in your here is board business. Would that be the appropriate place to put that? Yes, it's uh, it's on the second page under 4.2. Oh, appointment of chair and vice chair. Got it. Okay. Never mind. All right. So, right. So the 4.1, am, am I supposed to read that or? You, you don't need to. Okay. It's on it. Yeah. Just have everybody read that. Mm -hmm. Over to item 4.2. Mm -hmm. So are we? So this is appointment. Are we, so we're we're generally voting for a chairman and vice chairman. I think right. we would nominate. Nominate. Receive nomination. Got it. Receive okay. mm -hmm. and vote. Sounds fine. All right. So let's uh, open up nominations for the chairman. I nominate David Cooper <laughs> as chairman. I second that nomination. I have no objection. Uh, any further nominations? Further discussion? All right, let's let all in favor of uh, Dave Cooper for chairman. Aye. 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 Okay, so Dave Cooper is chairman. We now need a vice chairman. So let's open up nominations for that. I nominate Ken Cooker. Second that nomination. Acceptable to you, Ken? Sure. All right. <laughs> Further discussion or nominations? All, right. All in favor of Ken Coker for vice chairman? Aye. 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 So that's always right there. Uh, I guess we're looking for public comment at this time. We have one member of the public here. Would you like to make a comment? No? Okay. All right. Um, so there's no, uh, there's no further business for the board for this year or for this quarter. So can I get a motion for adjournment? Motion to adjourn. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 I'm sorry, who, who second the motion? Pardon? We did yeah. it. Ken and, and, and Carl? Okay. okay. Yeah. Is all for the record. Right, thank, thank you. <laughs> So we're adjourned at 421. Don't grab me. Took me longer to drive out here. Right. Ditto.